How's it, Brad? It was great seeing you today. I've got a great idea for this week's practice. It's honestly, it will only take you five minutes. After you get done doing your spidey exercises, all these, right, in time, and make sure that you're switching your first finger to your second finger so that one gets a little stronger as well. Um, what we've got, this last couple times we've been talking about C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C, all of the chords in C major. I'm trying to make the association of when you move this C to C sharp to D, you got a D major, E minor, F sharp minor, G major, A major, B minor, C sharp diminished, and a D. Where we're at right now, you're technically getting all this mumbo jumbo, all these words. I'm giving you a bunch of tools so you have them in your tool bag to be able to do music stuff. But the bottom line is I want you to have fun at this. And the way we have fun is doing a little bit more on the right hand rhythm. What we were working on this week was doing a one, two, three, four, and keeping that hand, that foot going, and keeping that beat of one, two, three, four. While you keep this foot going, I want your hands to mimic. So if you did all of them with your foot, it would be quarter notes, right? But if you did like a one and two and three and four and one and two, those would be our whole notes. If you played, let's say, a F major, the notes decay for the rest of the three and a half beats. If we do it on the one and the three, we have half notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. If we do it on every downbeat, we then have quarters, right? You know as well as I do, if we do it down and up, we take that quarter and we turn it into eighth notes. So down, up, down, up becomes eighth notes. Then here's where the fun comes. If you could double time what you're doing here, becomes your 16th notes. Now, here's what I was trying to tell you in practice. It seems as if the tonal notes don't mean that much right now, but you really dig on the rhythm. So what we ought to try and do is influence your right hand to get a little groovier. I already taught you a couple of the calypso beats, a couple of the different rolls, a couple of the things that are standard for just the ook, like uh, the down up movements and like it. movements, the reggae, or the so when we're using these hand, these these um, rhythm sets, the idea is we don't have to use them just as alone. We could use them in combination. So if I get, get my rhythm, one, two, three going, and I'm doing like a D minor to a C, like a uh, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. My hand can count either one and two and three and four and one and two, like whole notes, or I can have my hand do the 16th notes, three, four, five, so, or the eighth notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm still doing down, up, 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 would be eighth notes. Right? So these are 16 notes. Oops. But I'm only attacking the one. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So the idea is I could do like a, um, <clears throat> I think what you were, what, what I was alluding to was the rhythm aspect of what you're hearing is like a, So what I'm doing is I'm basically subdividing those beats with drumsticks. So the right hand rhythm, if I'm doing D to that
So if I broke that down and showed you how to do that slower, it would look like this. That doesn't seem too hard, but when you speed up just a little bit, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, ghost, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, ghost, up, down, up, down, up, down. When I say ghost, rest. rest so it gives that it alternates between back and the two so that is a right hand rhythm exercise you could work on this week by simply going down up down up down up down up this right hand going and you just do the down up down ups and go rest that next up that's naturally coming becomes your up down up down up down I hope that works out well so next week what I'd really like you to do is nail that D major and that B minor definitively know how to go from an A minor to a B minor and how to go from a D G major to a G major C major G major C major D major C major D major C major D minor D minor F F A F A F A D minor E minor A minor C F sharp minor F minor So I would love for you to do a quick basic review of all of your chords in the 5 minutes in the morning 5 minutes night if you just did this G 2 3 4 G 2 G 2 C 2 3 4 C minor 2 3 4 F major 3 4 F minor 2 3 4 D major 2 3 4 D minor 2 A major now A major 2 3 4 A minor 2 now here B major B major 2 3 4 B minor 2 3 4 C major bar 2 3 4 C minor bar just go through your majors and your minors using your whole note getting that right-handed rhythm. Next week, we're gonna have a tune for you. We're gonna be trying out, and then we're gonna be writing a tune. I hope you have a great week. See you next week.